All right, it's time to do a little update on the LED grow light. Uh, and I've done some comparison testing in that with uh, another grow light that I built as well as my old CFL lights. So I've got three different lights here. We have the uh, DIY $35 grow light here. Uh, I have an update on that. Uh, and this is the one I did the video on. I'll put a link in the description or up at the top there to this uh, video. And then here we have a uh, uh, grow light number two, which I did a it has different LEDs in it, and I'll show you the, uh, um, what's in that specifically. And then we have my old uh, CFL lights over here. So uh, what I did was I put uh, a couple seedlings in at the same exact time, same exact type of, of tomato plant. They're all Roma tomato plants. Um, and uh, they're all, I'll put it at the same time, the lights are at the same level, they've been on the same timer, everything been watered exactly the same, and all that good stuff. <clears throat> and so... Uh, the grow light number one here is the these two god um, grow light LED strips. These are um, I'll put a link in the description. There's two different kinds of lights in here. So there's the grow lights. That's what I showed you in the original video. And I also added these uh, white light. It's a 6500 Kelvin uh, bright light uh, bright white light LED. Um, I added a five meter strip of these as well, just to give it a little more power. And again, link in the description, but these are a 7020, which is a power, a little more powerful, um, cool white uh, LED. And so um, I'll show you the, uh, I, I already pulled the tomato plants out of this light. And so I'll show you them all side by side. Grow light number two is all of the cool white or bright light, uh, bright white light. Um, this is a all 6,000 to 6,500 Kelvin. Um, this one's upside down, but it's a 5630 brightness. And again, I'll put a link for grow light number two for the LEDs I used in this one. Um, and uh, the, again, just all white uh, white light here. And then in the uh, grow light number three, we have just all our CFLs. These are um, 23 watts a piece. Uh, they are, uh, I think, a 1250 or maybe even 1400 uh, lumen light bulb each. Uh, these are all 6,500 Kelvin or daylight uh, CFLs. And I've got a bunch of stuff growing in here too. So I've got all kinds of different things that have been, been growing in here. So I'll show you the, uh, the three plants and uh, compare them to one that I put out in the sunlight also. Okay, so we have four Roma tomato plants here of all varying sizes. And uh, so just to start off, this was grow light number one. And this is the, uh, the Two God uh, LED, the original light I did uh, with the added extra cool white lights uh, LED strip in there. And it's a pretty healthy looking plant. These are the original leaves that came off when I transplanted it as well as a little two down here. But uh, you know, it looks real healthy. Uh, it's uh, grown pretty well. It's, it's not, uh, not great. It's, it does look like it's reaching for the light a little bit. Um, so not too bad. So this is the next one, grow light number two. Um, and this is the all cool white lights, uh, LED lights. That was actually two five meter strips that are in that light. Um, this one doesn't look that great. It's kind of small. It's, uh, I mean, it's growing okay, but uh, definitely not that good. And then here is our CFL light. So the original uh, light that I built, um, this one is by far the, the best out of the indoor lighting here. It's very thick stem, it's very short and stout and healthy. It's got way more leaves compared to the other two. Much, much nicer. And then this one I did is kind of a control. This one was just out uh, near a window, so you can tell it's kind of reaching a little bit towards the window light. Um, and actually, if I had to pick between the two, I would take the, the CFL light, the one that grew inside. So uh, this is the, the best looking plant out of all of them that I had. Uh, this one looks pretty good too. You know, it's, it's definitely, it's still, if we compare all of them, it's way taller and has way more leaves than the other two um, LED lights that I did. So um, I know this isn't a, uh, a, an excellent test. I mean, each light is different, different power consumption, different lumens, all that stuff. And I'll, I'll, I'll show you the difference in the, the actual power output of each light here in just a minute. Um, I am going to do a lot of experimentation uh, with these lights, I'm going to be doing a lot of future adding uh, LED strips and doing uh, some combinations of blue and red, uh, more power, uh, and try to get to up to the, the lumen output that I have for the, or the lux output for the total, um, uh, for the CFL lights, and see if that, uh, that makes a difference. But So uh, let's take a look at the lights themselves and see what the power differences and the color spectrum differences are. 
Okay, so uh, just to quickly do a, just to kind of show the difference in uh, light power and color spectrum of our light. So this is the uh, grow light number one. This is the original $35 grow light that we built. Um, and so we're getting about, about 35, 3600 lumens here, or lux, excuse me. Um, but surprisingly, the spectrum is mostly red. A little bit of green spectrum in there, probably from the uh, 6500 Kelvin lights. And then the blue spectrum, I'm assuming, is from the, uh, the blue LEDs there. So uh, a pretty decent spread, but uh, a lot more red than blue. And then moving over to grow light number two. This is the one with all 6,000 6, to 6,500K 6, uh, lights, uh, light strips in it. There's a little more power to it. Looking at about 42, maybe 4,300, depending on where we put it here. But again, mostly in the red spectrum. So I'm not sure if this is reading correctly on my, my sensor here or if it's, uh, this is just how these LEDs are, are running. I'm not sure why. But a uh, very small blue spectrum here, again, mostly red and a lot of green. Uh, the green light is generally wasted. It's reflected off the, lamp, the plants, they don't really use it. So probably a little bit less efficient with this light, um, but a little bit more power. Okay, so here's our grow light number three. This is our, our old uh, all CFL grow light. And as you can see, we're up over 13,000 lux on this one. So they're definitely by far the most powerful, also the highest power consumption. It's about a 200 watt uh, light. But uh, mostly in the blue spectrum here. So very little red. We've got some wasted green. But uh, most of our light is usable, which is good. Um, and I think that's why we're seeing the most growth here, because we do have, again, the most power and the most usable light. All right, so I just wanted to do a quick update on the, uh, the, the grow lights and the, the LED light, how, it's, how the DIY light's been working. Um, I guess it's not a $35 grow light anymore because I added the other strips to it, so it's probably like a $45 or $50 grow light. Um, but I'm gonna do a lot of different experimentation. You know, these are, uh, these are a lot lower power consumption, basically about 110, 120 watts for these, this light here, versus, you know, almost 200 watts uh, power consumption with the CFLs. Um, much higher lumen output over here, obviously, than we have here. Um, and so, you know, there's, there's just so much to, to experiment and try. Uh, and I've, these LED strips are great, I think, uh, for growing with. They're very low, low heat and, uh, and they should be less, less energy consumption if I can get the color spectrums uh, right. So, but you know, as you can see, I've been growing a lot of things under here, starting a bunch of seeds and uh, everything's been growing fine. There, there's been no problems. It's very, things are growing very green. They're not stretching to the light. They're not getting leggy or anything. Uh, I've had things just put in here at all different times. I just put this in here today. You know, these ones have been here for a couple weeks and, and they're doing fine. And I'm just starting seeds in here early, you know, almost 30 days before I'm gonna put them outside. So um, I don't need them to grow super fast anyway. I'm just trying to kill time. But, uh, and things are growing, you know, even the, lo the lowest powered light I have is this one here, and things are growing okay under here as well. I mean, I've got a, a giant pumpkin back here and a bunch of other stuff that's, it's growing okay. I mean, it's, it's again, it's not, not great, not as good as my peanuts and my other stuff that I have in this, this bed under the CFL lights, but uh, it, it's doing fine. So the LED strip lights do work for growing, uh, and I think if you maybe went went to town with these maybe got three strips of these you'd have a super great grow light um, and I'm gonna try three or four strips of these super bright uh, cool white lights here and see how that works uh, so I'll have a lot more a lot more updates to come uh, with these but uh, as always guys subscribe to the channel if you want to follow along and, and get the updates and, and things that I'm experimenting with hopefully I can waste all my time and money figuring out what works best and share it with you guys and then you can uh, do it one time and, and uh, get something that works great so um, hit thumbs up on the video if you found it informational it really makes a big difference guys uh, reach, reach down there right now and hit that thumbs up and uh, let me know what you think throw some some comments down below and questions and i'll do my best to answer them i'm also going to do an update on uh, the seed starting operation we have over here as well and how we're doing this for just about free so uh, as always guys thanks for watching have a good one